Hi, this is Patricia Love from Love Healing Hearts. Now, I have a viewer named Believe, and Believe, that's her code name, sent me a dream several months ago. And there are some other viewers who have sent me dreams, and this is going to be dream day. <laughs> I'm going to read as many as possible. These are end time dreams. Here we go. Hi, sis. I'm attaching a dream I had February 28th. Reading the Bible is new for me, so when I have dreams and refer to Scripture, I know these dreams are from the Lord. Here it is. I was staying at a hotel with my husband and my daughter. We were falling asleep, and it was raining outside. It was evening, and as we all began to fall into a deep sleep, I heard what I thought was thunder outside, but it was so loud, I just had to get out of the bed and look out the window. When I looked toward the east of the hotel, I could tell that it was actually bombs exploding over New York City and that it was not thunder making that noise after all. I tried to tell my husband, but he didn't really seem to care. He just wanted to go back to sleep. Well, I could see red lights in the distance, and I knew America was being attacked. Well, I could see these red lights falling from the sky, not sure if they were bombs or planes, but they were going in a downward direction. I think I saw three. I could hear the very loud booms in the distance. As a matter of fact, I think I even heard them in reality, meaning I heard them outside this dream for some reason in some way. So in the dream, I went out into the hallway of the hotel. There was a man sitting outside his room on the hallway floor. Yet I could see, I could only see him vaguely. This man was just sitting there quietly watching out the hallway window toward the bombings. He looked like a man in his 50s or 60s. He had gray hair, and for some reason he seemed wise to me. He was just calmly watching what was going on with the bombings in the distance. I sat down by him, and I asked him what he thought, and what he thought would happen from this attack. He answered me by saying, it depends basically, but he said something about the man around the corner. Hmm. I sensed in my dream that this man was, that he was referring to around the corner was a former military person. That's what I was thinking, who was brave and strong and tactical in his maneuvers and would be able to confront these enemies. Well, I felt like the military man's armor was very important and also as if he had a cape or something that was special to him had some kind of power, you know, a dream. Then I looked outside the hallway window, and above the hotel, I saw a very large U.S. war plane fly slowly north, and I could sense that it was involved in protecting the U.S. Now, this is my interpretation. I believe the man in the hallway was a watchman, a Christian. He was watching what was going on with the attack, and he put his faith in the man around the corner. Okay, scripture to refer to is Isaiah 62, 6. On your walls, O Jerusalem, I have set watchmen all the day and all the night. They shall never be silent. You who put the Lord in remembrance, take no rest. The man around the corner, at first I thought to be a man a military man, brave, very knowledgeable in warfare. Well, now I believe that man around the corner is Jesus. He is just around the corner and the ultimate warrior. And our lives do. We all depend on him. Our lives depend on Jesus. I leap with joy for this revelation because I'd rather have no other warrior than Jesus Christ himself on my side. <laughs> if there is ever such an attack on the U.S., 
I believe the large military war plane I saw at the end of the dream represents God's army coming for those who know the Lord. Scripture, Samuel 22, 2-4, he says, The Lord is my rock and my fortress, my deliverer, my God, my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold and my refuge, my Savior. You save me from violence. I call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised and I am saved from my enemies. Amen? That is her dream. Interesting. What is coming? Let's hope and pray we can pray all this away and all the protection that she saw will cancel out all of the attacks that she saw pending. So let's hope and pray and stay on God's good side, shall we, as we pray and ask God to forgive our nation, to forgive us individually and collectively, because there is just too much looseness in our walk with God and people who are in control and people who hold the money bags that run this country and run the world are so corrupt. We really need to pray they get saved too, because if they get saved and they're the ones holding the money, this world has a lot more hope since they're the ones pulling the strings. You hear me? God bless you.